Hi, my name is Al Davison. I'm an instructor at Nate. I teach currently the CNT461 web development course. I'm going to demonstrate uh, a little web-based application called CodeMirror. Okay, if we go to codemirror.ca, we're brought into the authorization page, and then we can simply log in. This will allow us to get into the main application. Now, here's the main application. On the left-hand side, the left-hand window, we have a code view, right-hand side design view. Now, in the left-hand window, we can type our code from scratch, or we can bring in examples that were created previously for demonstration purposes. And the nice thing about these is that we can go in and instantly see what the output would look like uh, displayed in browser or in the rightmost window. We can go in and very quickly modify some of the page properties and almost instantly see the effect of those changes. We can view it again in a browser. We can also scale that web page. Scalability is a big deal. All our pages should be scalable. Now at the bottom we have our menu uh, with the controls. All the menus for the different technologies which are HTML, CSS, XML, JavaScript, Ajax, and PHP. And again we have some help that's available to us as well. Now these guys, the menus, are dynamically created from files from the server, so any changes that are made uh, are reflected instantly. If you add items, they show up. If you delete them, they disappear. Okay, now, these are client-side technologies, the first four. So these, these files or programs can be executed locally, that is, not from the server, and, and work fine. However, Ajax and PHP, server-side technologies, the files must be executed from the server to work. So that poses some challenges to us. So what I did is build in a feature that allows us to modify, save, and load right from the server without having to use an FTP client and go through the steps that are required ordinarily to update and view our changes to our web pages or applications. So for example, we'll clear the code here. We'll bring in an Ajax example, Google Graphics. Real neat. Okay, this guy here will display real-time data from the server. So I can turn the timer on and it's going to grab data from the server at roughly one second intervals. I can also turn the background on and off, those types of things. Now, what is unique to this application is that I can go in and very quickly make changes to the example and view those changes almost instantly. And that's a feature that uh, is really handy, saves a lot of time. So we could go in and change the color of one of our lines on the, the graph, save it, and load it, and see the resulting change here very quickly. Okay, we can also in the PHP side, do the same thing. Uh, we can go in and I've got a lot of neat little examples here that I can use to demonstrate things for the students. Uh, now what's cool here is that <clears throat> this PHP file has to be executed from the server and I can go in and check it with the browser and that type of thing, uh, and it's quite amazing uh, the interactivity that we have. We've also got online documentation available to us. It's almost impossible nowadays to remember all the properties, methods, and objects for these different languages, so the use of online documentation is pretty acceptable these days. So in any event, uh, that's a quick introduction to Code Mirror. Once we're done we can log out. Now, again, all these examples are secured, 
and students uh, can't get at this code unless you permit it. And if you wanted to, for example, demonstrate an ICA or a lab for them and have the URL visible, of course these students are pretty quick. You can turn that off, but still there is that risk that they can grab it and simply copy your work and view or view the source. So we'll just log out. Uh, for those of you who don't know this, you can just go and look at the page source right there. And if it's not obfuscated or anything else, you got it. You can copy paste it into an application and go. So anyways, that's just a brief introduction. Thanks for your time. Okay, bye.